what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another Madden video today. So guys, we just got some huge news talking about Madden Maxes, man. I am super excited. You guys know um, if you guys have been playing previous Madden mobiles, Madden Maxes or of course the boss program has been in the game for a little bit now. I believe since like Madden Mobile 17. Um, and that's basically like the end game cards, man. The crazy, crazy high overall players and all that goodness, guys. So it should be a ton of fun um, and all that goodness. Now, of course, um, I'm surprised we're getting maxes so early because, hey, man, we still got movers in the game right now. We're going to be getting the NFL draft. We should be getting um, 4th of July content and everything like that until the end of the season um, in August when we get the new Madden Mobile and everything like that. So we're going to have some good time to, one, see the max players, build max players, and all that goodness. So everybody should, if you're playing now, you should by the end of the year. Have a full squad of maxes. You know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, man, that being said, um, you guys know, like I said, there is the NFL movers content. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into it right here. Now, of course, I will be kind of covered right here by the Discord. Shout outs to my guy Red and Legends for holding it down, getting us all the info since, of course, our community manager uh Nick did move over to the console side. Um, but they've been giving us the info and all that stuff like this. So yeah, man, here you guys can see we did get a brand new Stefan Diggs. I literally got I literally, I literally, let me, let me talk to you. I literally just recorded the gameplay video for Stefan Diggs. So if you guys are excited and, and we can't wait to see that video, just make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. So, you know, when we post that video, probably coming out tomorrow. So that should be fun. I, I went ahead and use CJ Shroud as well. So yeah, man, it's a very fun video that will be coming out very soon, but literally just recorded that and all this info drops. So we're kind of postponing that video. Now let's get on to the max info right here. So if we scroll down a little bit, there will be 30 max players guys that will be available on april 16th guys so that is going to be a big date make sure you guys like i just said hit that subscribe button turn on notifications because on that day we're gonna have a lot of content being dropped on the channel man so just stay tuned for that man each max player will have a regular and a foil version so there's not going to be um a mythic or anything like that so we're keeping it to the regular and foil version so that's kind of a good thing now of course guys regular max players are going to be 260 overall and max foils are going to be 280 overall which which is kind of crazy because like we have right here Stefan takes a 192 at mythic right but hey like we said these are the end game players now to acquire the initial 30 players this there will be an rng random number generator so basically like a random uh random pack um you can get your maxes from or of course select uh select trades right there now rng trades will be broken up into offense defense and special teams and will require max tokens so there you guys go it is going to be like the previous years guys basically throw in all your old stuff um and then get basically get max tokens and then use those tokens to go out and get a max player um and i like that it's very simple and it gives us something oops um it does give us um a thing where hey man you guys probably have the clown um and all all these other type of mythic cards on your i guess on your bench right now because you can't really do anything with them right um so it's going to be obviously a set we're going to see for of course uh, mythic trades and everything like that so that's going to be good um so of course select trades will require max tokens plus a max badge um and of course the max foil trades will require two of the same max player like we said already now of course there is a two for one max trade will allow you to trade in two max iconics for a single max icon iconic select pack so if you keep doing the rng pack guys and you just keep getting the same player over and over again you can go and do the select but you're kind of losing out on that in token wise right because you're two for one in but it is a select and of course max tokens uh, acquisitions will primarily be from in trading players the amount of max tokens will um receive will vary based on release date and rarity of the player being traded in so of course um stefan diggs guys if we go ahead and look at that like stefan diggs is new if you guys are wanting to trade in the brand new mythics i think you have to wait one program if you guys if you remember to last season when you can trade those guys in but um if you trade in stefan diggs who's a 192 he's obviously going to be worth more in value and coins wise and you're going to get more coins than of course trading in the mythic clown who i believe is a 137 overall mythic um mythic card so just keep that in mind um of of course so we got right there now all players released before april can be converted into max tokens 
Oh, wow. So before April. So that is kind of crazy. So again, I think after April, like we move into, of course, May, all the April players will be able to be converted. So yeah, there you guys go. So there will be max token trades for uncommons, rares, epics, iconics, iconic foils, mythics, and Marvel's card rarities. 10th anniversary players can go into iconic, um, iconic max trade. So that is maybe one thing that they were saying, hey man, you want to hold on to those 10th uh, anniversary cards? I know you can't really throw them into a set anyways, but... I hope you guys are, had all the 10th anniversary players and all that goodness. Now, of course, all team of the week players will be converted, uh, will convert at pre-April rates. Interesting. All right. Now, of course, we scroll down a little bit more. All players except team of the week released in April can be converted into max token at a higher rate than pre-April players. Okay, so there you go. All future star and mover players convert at the April rate. Max token exchange rate will increase for players released with later field passes and event occurrences in um in following months. So of course, like we said, if the players higher overall and everything, um, they'll be worth more coins and everything. Max badges will be required from, of course, the login calendar as well on the field pass mile score uh, milestone reward tracker. We had that last season. Every like seven days or something like that, you got a max badge for free. Um, and of course, if you buy the field pass. You get more max badges um, and all that goodness right there. Of course, a limited number of new max player. Uh, is that on screen? Yeah, it is on screen. A new limited um, will be available during the event. Event max players will have select trades that acquire uh, event resources. So that's pretty cool. So we get the NFL Combine. There is going to be an NFL Combine max player, I guess they're saying, because there's going to be event. Event max player will go into their associated RNG max trades after the event concludes. So that's pretty big. So of course. If they release something in the draft program, guys, you are not going to be able to pull that event max player until the draft content is over. All right. So hopefully that kind of clears that up. Event max player foil trades will always be available. All right. That's always great to see as well. Now, everything is subject to change right here. If we scroll down. Oh, I can't scroll down anymore. Uh, I can do this, though. I can do this. You guys can see that. Everything is subject to change. So, guys, keep that in mind with a grain of salt for, of course, that. Now, let's get on to the fun part. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine players that they have told us right here and of course guys the rest of the other players the 30 that is releasing are going to be announced during streams if you guys want to check out my other content creators that are live streaming as well carlton 215 um my guy lightning lotus your boy himself uh fred all those guys all those great guys um they will be releasing content or names as well and all that goodness but Without further ado, let's talk about the ones that have been released. And yo, I'm super excited. That's going to be my quarterback card. I don't care, man. I don't care if he's slow. Maxes are always fast. So, got myself Tom Brady right there. He's going to be on my team. I guess that's great for holding out from having Wick, uh, Vic and being outdated. I'm waiting. Tom Brady's going to be my guy. All right. So, Tom Brady, Pat McAfee. We got Sweetness as well. We got a linebacker with Derek Thomas. So, we got a lot of legends in here as well. So, that is actually really, really sick to see. Obviously, Tom Brady, Pat McAfee. Um, but, of course, we also get a defensive tackle with Jeffrey Simons right here. We got a Devin Hester kick returner card. DK Met. Oh, sorry. I got a little excited. We got Safety Larry Wilson. And then, of course, we got DK Metcalf, which I'm excited about. I'm surprised. I was like, yo, why haven't we got any DK Metcalf cards? And that is the reason why we are going to be getting a max. And then we also are getting a JJ Watt, guys. So that is, those are some of the 30 players that are getting released at the drop at April 16th, guys. Like we said, there will be event players. So there will be more Madden maxes dropping throughout the rest of the season, all that stuff. But I'm super excited, guys. I hope you guys are excited, too, and all that goodness, man. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you guys tell me in the comment section below what your thoughts about Max is. What player in this list are you guys getting? Or are you going to wait out to see what else? Like I said, check the Twitch stream on uh, Sunday at 4 p.m. We will be releasing or revealing some more names as well. But, yeah, man, if you guys did enjoy this video, go and smash that like button, guys. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you guys know we post out any Madden mobile videos. And, of course, the Madden Max. And like I said, tomorrow we'll be posting that Stefan Diggs. But yeah, man, always stay hype, and we'll catch you guys soon. Peace.
What's up? Now.